using logarithms to solve limits. We can use logarithms to simplify things with tricky exponents, even in limits. For example, suppose we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. Now, 1 plus 1 over x is thinking about what? That is 1 plus, well, 1 over x is going to 0, so it's like going to 1 to the infinite power. That's like sort of 1 to infinity. And well, this is another one of those cases where it really depends. How fast is it going to 1? How fast is it going to infinity? Because it's never actually going to be 1. It's always going to be a little bit more than 1. So what do we do? What we do is we say, let L be the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. We say, OK, suppose it has a limit. If it has a limit, then we can take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of L is going to be, well, the natural log of the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. And this requires some advanced mathematics. The logarithm of a limit is equal to the limit of the logarithm. No, this is natural log of L is the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x all to the x power. Why did we get natural logs involved in the first place? Because when you have an exponent inside a natural log, you can pull it out. The natural log of L is the limit as x goes to infinity of x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. And what is this thinking about? This is thinking about infinity times, well, what's in the parentheses is going to 0, and the natural log of 0 is negative infinity. No, what's inside the parentheses is going to 1, and the natural log of 1 is 0. So this is one of those things that we will rearrange. We will call this uh, the natural log Let's see, that is going to 0. This is going to 0. So we leave the natural log 1 plus 1 over x in the numerator and call this 1 over x. Because now we have, as x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. 1 plus 0 goes to 1. Natural log 1 is 0. As x goes to infinity, 1 over infinity goes to 0. We have a case where we can use L'Hopital's rule. And L'Hopital's rule says that we take the derivative of the top and the bottom. The derivative of the natural log of anything is 1 over that thing times the derivative of the, what's inside. The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And similarly, the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, which means that these two cancel each other out entirely. And so we have, let's just write it again, the natural log of the limit is the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. And 1 over x goes to 0. This is 1 plus 1 over 1. This goes to just 1. And if the natural log of L is 1, then e to the natural log of L is the same thing as e to the 1, or L equals e. And that tells us that the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x all to the x power is e. And this is, in fact, how some people define what the number e is. Although, if you try plugging in large numbers, you have to plug in very, very large numbers before you actually get close to e. But as x goes to infinity, this will work.